It actually worked, split screen is enabled. And as you can see, my iPhone 13 really does have dynamic island now. Hey guys, Mick here, back with another quick iOS tip that could totally save your day. Misaka 26, a tool that doesn't require jailbreaking yet lets you unlock features Apple never officially released. Is it really that powerful? First, head to the Misaka 26 download page. I've put the link in the description. Once you're in, you'll see the latest version is 1.6, but keep in mind it's an unstable build. Scroll down and you'll see a full list of features Misaka can unlock on iPhone, along with the supported iOS versions and device models. I'll explain those in a bit. Next, just pick the version that matches your computer system. I'm on Windows, so I click the Windows version, and it starts downloading. After it's done, unzip the file and place it on your desktop. To fully unlock all Misaka 26 features, there's one more important step. You'll need to save a mobile gestalt shortcut on your iPhone. Open the shortcut and follow the prompts on the screen. Once it finishes loading, tap the button that says click here, then choose File and tap it. Next, select STR. You'll now see a long list of PLT codes. Press and hold on the screen, tap Select All and copy everything. After copying the content, go back to the shortcut's homepage. Tap Back to return to the shortcut page. A save window will pop up, pick a location that's easy to find, tap open, and the file will be saved. Next, open the Files app and find the Plist file you just saved. Then, share it to your computer using AirDrop, email, WeChat, whatever method you prefer. Once the file is successfully sent to your computer, you're ready for the next step. Now, you need to download Misaka 26. This Plist file basically lets Misaka 26 recognize your exact iPhone model. You can find the shortcut link in the video description. Next, make sure your computer has the proper iTunes environment. You can open Reiboot from the link in the description, tap More Features, and choose Repair iTunes. Run the check and repair, it's super quick. After that, just connect your iPhone to your computer and start using Masaka 26. Click Select File and choose the plist you saved earlier. There are a few features here I'd actually recommend enabling. If you're on an iPhone 14 or older, you can enable the first Dynamic Island option. The first one is for standard and pro models, the second one is for plus and max models. You can also check the supported iOS version on the right, like this one works on iOS 16 and above. Down here is the charging limit feature. It helps reduce battery wear, and even though it's officially for iPhone 15 and newer, it can still help improve battery life on older models. Next is always on display. This only works on iPhone 14 Pro through iPhone 16 Pro. It uses low power mode to keep the display always on. If you scroll further down, most of the options below aren't really useful. Even if you enable them and they show up in settings, they basically don't do anything. One feature that's pretty controversial is Apple AI. It's very unstable right now, so I don't recommend turning it on. Then you'll see Trollpad. This one is actually pretty interesting. It lets you install iPad OS on your iPhone and enables real split-screen multitasking, so go ahead and check this option. The last one is changing your iPhone model info and that's basically it. For today's video, I'm only using iPad OS on iPhone as the example. All the other features work the same way. Here's a quick trick to boost your success rate. Open Shadow Rocket and switch to a working node. Then open the Books app, go to the bookstore, scroll to the free section and download any free book. While it's downloading, tap Apply at the bottom. Your iPhone will reboot automatically. After the reboot, you'll probably notice nothing has changed. Don't worry, that's normal. Turn on your VPN again and wait about two minutes to let it download the bug files. Then, force restart your iPhone. Press volume up, press volume down, then hold the power button until the Apple logo shows up. When it boots back up, boom, it's done. You can now freely use multitasking and enjoy real split screen on your iPhone. For example, you can watch anime while playing games or view documents while taking notes. It's really convenient. And if you want to turn off the features you enabled, it's super simple. Just go back in the Saka 26, turn off all the options. Hit apply and restart your iPhone. Everything goes back to normal. If your iPhone turns into a white screen or won't boot after using Misaka 26, don't panic. You can use Re-iBoot, the tool I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Just use its repair feature, it can fix iPhone firmware issues, even if the problem was caused by something else, and your data will not be erased. Also, keep in mind, Misaka 26 only supports iOS 26.1 and earlier. If you accidentally updated to iOS 26.2, that's totally fine. You can still use Re-iBoot, choose the downgrade option, and with just one click, it can bring your iPhone back to iOS 26.1 without losing any data. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more iOS updates. I'm Mick and I'll see you in the next one.